Good morning children. In today's class we are going to do problems based on seasonal indices. The question will contain quarters or months. What we need to do? Find the total of each quarter separately. So this method we call simple average. Mustn't confuse. The other class we did semi average that is for trend line. This is seasonal indices using the method of simple average. What do you mean by the word simple average? Each quarter find the total just add it. Each quarter we are given 5 values. Divide by 5. Call it as quarterly average. Then we will find grand average. We have just added each quarter total 18.6, 20.8, 18.8 and 20.8. Each total there are 5 values given divide by 5. Each total divide by 5 we get. 3.72, 4.16, 3.76 and 4.16. Now, we need to find grand average. What do you mean by the word grand average? Add all the averages. So, what all I have? 3.72, 4.16, 3.76, 4.16. Divide by 1, 2, 3, 4 values. Add them all. Divide by 4. So we get 15.8 by 4 that is 3.95. First step total for each quarter. Second step divide each quarter by the total number of values. We get quarterly average. Remember the side headings what all to be filled in. Quarterly total, quarterly average. The next word grand average. Adding all the averages divide by 4 gives you grand average. Now we go on to the last step seasonal index. What is the formula for seasonal index? We denote it as SI. The formula quarterly average by grand average into 100. Let me see. First quarter. What is the value? 3.72 divided by what is the grand average we got? 3.95. So 3.72 divided by 3.95 into 100. Whatever answer you get, it is expressed as percentage. As we simplify, we get 94.1772. Find out for the second quarter the value 4.16 divided by 3.95 into 100. And for third quarter 3.76 by 3.95 into 100. Fourth quarter 4.16 by 3.95 into 100. Let us simplify and find out the answer. Check your answer for second and fourth quarter. We get 105.3165 and for third quarter it is 95.1899. It's a very simple problem. Mostly coming under 3 marks. Exercise 9.1, question number 21. Here again, we are given 5 years and 4 quarters. Find the total of each quarter. There are 5 values given. So, each total divide by 5. You get quarterly average. Then, add all the average divide by 4. To get the grand average. The total of each column. 372, 358, 362, 364. Each total. 
divide by 5. We get 74.4, 71.6, 72.4, 72 72.8. Now, grand average. Add it all, divide by 4. 74.4, 71.6, 72.8. Divide by 4. We get 72.8. Now, what is the seasonal index? It is quarterly average by grand average into 100. Quarterly average, first quarter, 74.4 by grand average, 72.8 into 100. Simplify and write the answer. Second quarter, 71.6 by 72.8 into 100. Third one, 72.4 by 72.8 into 100. Fourth one, 72.8 by 72.8 into 100. Calculate each value. As we try to simplify, we get... 102.19, 98.35, 99.45 and 100 for the four different quarters. This tells us the value is more in first quarter and no change in fourth quarter. Second and third quarter it is little less. Question number 20. Find the monthly indices. Seasonal indices can be calculated for quarters as well as months. As I see the question, 12 months are given, Jan, Feb, March like that. So all the months we can name. Each month, find out the total. How many values given? 3. So add all the values. What is your answer? 15 plus 20 plus 18, 53. 18 plus 18 plus 25, 61. Like this, find the total of each. Each value divide by 3. You get monthly average. As we divide and get the averages, to find grand average, add it all, divide by 12. We get 17.4. Now, what is monthly index formula? Monthly average by grand average into 100. What is monthly average? 17.7 divided by grand average 17.4 in 200. Simplify and write the answer. As we calculate the seasonal indices for every month, let us tabulate here. So, each month we have calculated the monthly average divided by grand average into 100 and we have tabulated and that is the way to calculate seasonal indices using simple average method.